Hello, my friends, and welcome to a Thanksgiving edition of Little Liturgies, an online prayer to help you during your time of at-home or at-school learning. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. As we gather together to give thanks, my friends, let us call to mind anything that keeps us from the communion of love and ask the Lord for his mercy, his healing, and his peace. Please sing with me, my friends, but quietly because of COVID. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we gather together to give thanks with our little liturgy, send forth your spirit and help us to hear and to see and to recognize the gifts that you give to us in our lives. And with the help of the Spirit, help us to say thank you for all of these wonderful gifts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So my friends, today we are going to hear from the Gospel of Luke, and we're going to hear a story about Jesus healing 10 lepers. Now, what is a leper? So, a leper was someone in Jesus' time who suffered from two diseases, okay? But one gets a lot more attention than the other. So, the first disease, which is what leprosy does, is they had um, a condition of the skin. Like, it, it really it harmed your skin and it was very terrible. It could really affect your face and, and well, your whole body. Now, the second disease that was caused is that in Jesus' time, they had no way to treat leprosy. So if you were diagnosed with leprosy, what happened is you became isolated from the community. And that was like, oh, it's one thing to be sick, but it's even worse than to lose your friends or your family. So now part of this story probably sounds familiar because because of COVID-19, for a long, for many months, we had to be isolated from one another and some of us at times uh, still are or we don't have a full relationship with those around us. So as we read this story, I'd like you to kind of think about the two diseases that the, the lepers are um, suffering from. They have leprosy, which affect, affects the body, but they also have the disease of isolation, which is horrible. Like, God wants to, everyone to be a part of a community of love. So let's begin. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When Jesus saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, were not ten made clean? 
of the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then Jesus said to the Samaritan, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, my friends, were you able to hear the, the two diseases that afflicted the leper, or the lepers, I should say? The first was, you know, we got to experience the joy of the lepers when they, they encountered Jesus and he offered them healing. And they're like, yes, they were so excited. They just started running off to go see the priest. Why did they do that? Because in Jesus' time, the priests were kind of like doctors, and they were the ones that decided whether or not you had leprosy or not. So if they said you have, you're healed from leprosy, then you could return to your former way of life. And that's fantastic. But only one of the ten lepers recognized the second disease that was affecting them. And that was isolation. By that I mean, my friends, if someone gives us a gift and we don't say thank you, we unknowingly, perhaps, hurt that person. We got the sense of that in the second half of the story, Jesus, you know, he's healed these 10 lepers and they're so excited and they run off to go uh, show themselves to the priests. And Jesus is like, oh, okay. You get a sense that he's hurt. And except for the one Samaritan who realizes there is a second disease here, the disease of ingratitude. And so the Samaritan, as he's going away, he turns around and he comes back and he says, thank you. And when he does this, he heals the relationship between him and Jesus. And not only heals it, but he helps to grow it. I wish to share this with you, my friends, because really the disease of ingratitude can impact us at any part of our lives. It's very easy to take for granted the good things that other people give us. But like the, the one leper, the Samaritan, we are called to always kind of be on the lookout for the disease of ingratitude and instead to be people of healing who go to those who have given us care and love and patience and mercy and have shared with us and to say thank you. And when we do that, we heal and grow our relationship with them. I appreciate, my friends, that these are challenging days and that, you know, we've gotten, we've received many good things, like we're able to go back to school, we're able to see some of our friends, we're able to see some of our family, we're able to resume some of our activities. But at the same time, it's not like it used to be. We're not able to see everyone that we like. We're not able to interact with all of our friends. We're not able to do all of our activities. So we really, we have like a choice. We can say, thank you for the gifts that we have received. Or we can be like, oh, I don't know. We can focus on what we haven't received. But I invite you, my friends, to be people of healing, people who are always on the lookout for the gifts that they ha you have received and to say thank you. Because when you do that, you heal isolation, you vanquish ingratitude, and you help create community 
and relationships with other people, especially those who have taken the time to care for you and help you to flourish as a human person. And so my friends, let's ask the Holy Spirit to be with us, to help us to recognize the care that we receive and to be able to turn around like the Samaritan and to go back to those people who have cared for us and to say, thank you. As a community of faith, let us now present to our God our needs and our concerns. Let us take a moment, my friends, and quietly think of all of the people who care for us. Our parents, our friends, our teachers, our loved ones. And let us say thank you to God for these wonderful people in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also ask the Holy Spirit to open our eyes so that we may recognize the other people in our lives who care for us. And yet sometimes we may miss it. We may not see how they are helping us. Let's ask for that insight from the Holy Spirit so that we may go to them and say thank you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who are in need of healing. We heard in the story of the 10 lepers who need to be healed so that they can return to the community. Let us think of all of our, all of the people who we know who are sick or those who are in quarantine, that they may experience healing and be brought back into our community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for all of those who are working to end the COVID-19 pandemic. Pray for all of our doctors, our nurses, and our scientists, that God may help them in their wonderful work of healing and research. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And my friends, let us also pray for those who have died, our loved ones who, when they were with us face to face, they offered us such great love and care we ask that they are in peace with the Lord Jesus, and we know that one day we will be reunited with them in Jesus' heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gathering all our prayers together, let us say the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So my friends, thank you so much for spending time together with our little liturgies. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you each week, and yeah. Let us continue to learn and to grow in Jesus' love. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.